Hi friends, welcome back to Creative Unique Treasures. My name is Trisha and my husband's name is Jeff on our channel. Jeff. And I love to recreate what someone may think is ready for the trash into a unique treasure. If this is something that you are interested in, Jeff. And I would appreciate you subscribing, sharing, and leaving a comment. That way you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. We so appreciate you taking your time and sharing it with us. Blessings and thank you for watching. Hi friends, it's me Trisha. Thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate it. And what I got here is I got a stool, and I, got, I actually got two stools, and that's what we'll be doing, what this video will be about. And I have this stool here, and I'm painting it right now with Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint in the color of Buttercream. And I'm using my S30 Klingon brush, which I love this brush, it holds a lot of paint. And what, right now I'm putting my first coat of paint on here, and I'll end up putting two coats of paint in this video so that's what I'll be doing right here that's what I'm doing right here and then um, and then I'll be now I'm gonna be put now I'm putting on the second coat I got these two um, Stools from the thrift store for a couple of dollars and I thought they would be really cute for someone to use as a riser or use as just as a stool you know to sit out and for for your home decor so I'll be using JRV stencils in this in this video I'll be using their um, JRV brushes and uh, also I'll be using I'll be dry brushing waxing with Debbie's Design Diary clear, clear Wax and White Wax. I'll be using um, just a few different methods. And so I'm, I'm thankful that you're joining me. Now I'm taking my heat gun here to speed up the process of drying time. And I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of second coat of paint on the bottom here with the buttercream. I love my S30 Klingon brush. It holds a lot of paint. If you if you can. Go ahead and get yourself some paint brushes, some good paint brushes. The S30 and the S50 is they're wonderful. They're a little bit pricier, but if, as long as you keep them clean and keep, uh, take care of them, they last for years. Right here, I got my Simple Living with the Sheep JRB stencil, and I'm going to go ahead and put the, use the weather wood. Um, DIY clay base paint no VOC's in this paint so it's nice to paint inside I have my stencil and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of the weather wood and then wipe some of it off so it's not so um, it doesn't have so much paint on it kind of doing like a dry brushing on your stencil so it doesn't have bleed through so that's what I'm doing here And I love the JRV stencil brushes if you don't have any. They're very, the texture of the, the pressure that you're, you do the pouncing or the swirling on the, on the stencils. And you don't have very, very, very little uh, bleed through on them. And the stencils are very thick. So I'm applying the weather wood on here.
I'm gonna go, go ahead and take this stencil all the way around. And sometimes you don't have to use your whole stencil. You can just use parts of it. That's what I like about stenciling. And right here I'm filling in. I missed a little bit here and there, so I'm just filling in a little bit. And it'll be darker when because it, it's the paint is wet there. Now I'm taking a um, stencil brush and I'm just putting a little bit of the Weatherwood paint on there and I want to go around the edges to make it look like it's a little worn so it's not so perfect. And I could sand and then apply this but I like to do it this way. It's like a dry brush method. And then kind of taking my finger and rubbing it in a little bit if I don't like how dark how you know dark I get it kind of making it look like like it's the buttercream isn't so crisp And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Just adding a little bit of the, I guess, like making it look a little dirty or rustic or a little bit rustic and not so perfect. And now I'm going to take the buttercream and the Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint and I'm going to go ahead and take a Q-tip and I'm going to add some like the appearance of wool on the sheep. So I'm just going to dab that on there. In spots I might get a little bit too much and then I'll, t I'll just take my finger or dab it a little bit and kind of blend it in a little bit And I'll let that dry. Now I'm taking the Debbie's Design Diary Clear Wax and I'm just I'm taking an old sock. You can use your fingers even with this wax. It's so nice and it smells so wonderful. And you can just rub it on and then leave it on for 24 hours or if you want to wipe it right off. It's up to you, but um, I usually try to leave it on a little bit. And I got some white white wax here, Debbie's Design Diary, 
and I'm gonna put that on here and there just to and then if I get too much of the white wax on there you just take the clear wax and you can just rub that on like a, an eraser so that's what makes it nice so I'm right now I'm using my hand because it's it's just it smells wonderful it's so creamy and um, it's it's not harmful it's all natural so it's not harmful to you um, you can use a brush or a rag or your fingers I just like to feel and see how much I'm getting on there that's why I use my fingers sometimes and this it looks like this one's pretty much done and I'm gonna move on to the other the next stool and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this with Dixie Bell chalk mineral paint in the color of tea rose and I'm going to use my s30 brush still and so I'm going to start out with this one I'm going to go ahead and put it on the bottom and get that done with I'm going to apply two coats of this tea rose color paint And on this one, I'm going to use a different stencil, but it will be JRV, and it will be JRV stencil brush. And I will be applying two coats of the T rose. Here I am pu putting on the first coat on the top there. These two stools were in pretty rough shape when I got them at the thrift store, so I w I'm happy that I could give them a new look. Hopefully somebody will enjoy them. And I got my two my two coats on there. Now I'm gonna take my JRV stencil and I'm gonna apply this stencil here, look, make this one look a little different. This is more like a grain sack saying on there. And I have my JRV stencil brush. And I'm using the weather wood and the DIY Debbie's Design Diary clay base paint and I'm using a dry dry brush method I I dip my paint my stencil brush in there and then I wipe most of it off so it doesn't get too much of a bleed through on there whatever I can fit on there that's what I'll go ahead and use the stencil is quite large but I'm trying to fit on as much as I can fit on there and I got a little bit of bleed through but that's okay now I'll take the um, the paint and go around the edges with a dry dry brush on the stencil brush it and Kind of make it a little bit worn out, a little bit like we did on the on the buttercream one. I don't like things necessarily perfect. You do you, and I'll do me, and then um, you know. I but I do like I do like it to look like it's been worn a little bit I don't want it to look like it's manufactured and stamped on there I 
I want to thank you so much for coming on and, and joining me with this project. And I hope that you'll subscribe and share and give me a comment. And let me know how you think, what you think about the video. What you think I need to, maybe, what you'd like to see um, me try to do. And, um, you know, and let's learn together. Like I said, I'm just adding some, excuse me, I'm just adding some, a little bit of, I guess you can say grunge or, you know, worn out look. Now I'm going to go ahead and wax. Use the W's Design Diary Clear Wax and go ahead and put that on there. I so appreciate you joining me. And I hope that you have a blessed day. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.